fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! There's danger on the trail ahead! Hail Silver! Hooray! The setting sun stretched long shadows over the buffalo grass and the rolling hills as the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan reined their horses to a halt about a half mile from the water hole where they'd pitched their camp. Oh, Silver, hold on. Steady, 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 Steady. Let's give the horses a chance to rest. We've covered a lot of ground since sunup. Uh-huh. That's right. We look country over, huh? Seems peaceful enough. I wonder if there really are any marauding bands of Indians around here. Mm, that's what storekeeper and tomahawk say. Him say bad Indians on warpath. Oh, I reckon the soldiers can take care of any Indians. Well, there's a couple of companies at least over near Tomahawk. Yes, Dan. It's a lot better to be on the lookout for trouble before it happens. And you're prepared. <laughs> but it's turning dark. Let's head for camp. Oh, say, is it all right if I let Victor gallop all the way? Well, just a moment, Dan. Are you sure he wants to gallop? Huh? There are only two times when you should gallop your horse. When it's absolutely necessary, and when he's so full of ginger, he wants to use up his excess energy. <laughs> you leave it to Victor, I think he'll be satisfied to canter. Mm, that right, Dan. Horse is plenty tired. Oh, Gosh, I'm sorry. I reckon I wasn't thinking, was I? Just remember, Dan, in the West, a man takes better care of his horse than he does of himself. Yes, sir. I'll remember, all right. You hear that, Victor? If I don't remember, you just do a little sun fishing to remind me, uh, will you? Uh, uh, yes, we'll... Uh, Say, what's that? Hey, Masabi, that Indian war hoop. Hello, Dan. Look over there. It's a gunfight. Yeah, I can make out the flashes. The sun's gone down too far to see what it is. We've got to find out. Dan, you ride for camp. Tonto and I'll investigate that battle. Oh, gosh. Can't I go, too? Dan, that's an order. Yes, sir. Get up, Victor. Come on. Sorry. He wants battle. Not many engines. We see him against sky. Follow me, Tonto. Get him up, scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Seth, keep... Seth. Seth. I got him. Those moments got him. He's dead. All right, you sneaking coyotes. You got the rest. Now, come on and finish me off. Come on, I'm standing up. Come on and get me, too. You... Get down. Don't be a fool. Horse can hold for the hole. Flat on the ground. Why make it easy for them? Down. Oh. All right, fellow, start shooting. Ha. Huh? He got rifle from ground. Plenty good for raiding party. Mister, you came in the nick of time, but who are you? Never mind that now. The important thing is to beat off these raiders. Fire as fast as you can. If we don't drive them off, we all die. Mister, I 
can't believe it. But they've given up. They had us out number 10 to 1, but they turned tail and vamoose. Uh -huh. And then not come back. I never saw such shooting in my life as you two did. You did your share. I, I did my best. I was all ready to give up when you and the... And the... Oh. Here. Oh, what matter him? He's wounded. I didn't notice it in the dark. Hurry, Tallo. Call Silver and Scout. We've got to get him to camp at once. He needs attention. Unconscious, isn't he, Tonto? Oh, uh, him hurt plenty bad. But him get better after a while. It's a good thing you had a fire already and plenty of water, Dan. Well, I figured with so much shooting, there might be need of him. Say, who is he, do you know? His name and rank are on his canteen. Let's see. Seth Bradley, Lance Corporal, Company B, 7th United States Cavalry. Well, well that's the outfit. This is Big Wagner Tomahawk, isn't it? Yes. He must have been trying to rejoin his troop. Gee, was he alone against all those Apaches? No, Dan, him not alone. Two other soldiers with him. Oh, well, where are they? The others are dead, then. Oh. It's getting late. I think you'd better roll in for the night. Yeah, I reckon I'd better. Good night. Good night. Good night, Dan. Tonto, there's something strange about this. Did you notice how Bradley was mumbling all the way back here? Ah, but him with you on silver, me not hear much. I gathered that Bradley blames himself for what happened. Me not savvy that. Him fight heap good. Apparently, he and his two companions were on a scouting expedition. Coming back toward Tomahawk, they had a choice of two ways to go. The other men wanted to go by way of Blue Creek. That north trail, huh? Yes. Bradley held out for the southern trail along Lone Wolf Pass. The Apache raiding party was waiting for them. Oh, uh, not too bad. But that not Bradley's fault, Kimosabe. That just bad fortune. Two men died, Tonto. Bradley keeps remembering that. It'll be up to us to make him realize he's not really to blame. Ah, uh, maybe we do that in the morning, huh? I'll talk to him in the morning and see what I can do. Meanwhile, I want you to ride tonight. Ah, uh, me go now? Yes. I found this packet in Bradley's blanket roll. It must be important, and I want you to take it to the commandant at the army bivouac at Tomahawk. Ah, uh, me savvy. Want to do what you say. Me get to army camp in the morning. <laughs> Oh, Captain. Uh, Captain Henshaw. Yes, what is it, Lieutenant? Well, this Indian was challenged at the stockade gate by the corporal of the guard. He says he has a packet from Lance Corporal Bradley, sir. Bradley? That's strange. Yes, sir. But the story he told seems true enough. His name is Tonto, sir. Uh, very well. All right, Tonto, you may deliver the packet. Uh, here. Here, packet. Bradley, him in camp near Lone Wolf Pass. Him hurt. Plenty bad. The Indian says Bradley was ambushed by Apaches near the pass. Kincaid and Crummins were killed outright. I see. And how did Bradley manage to survive? A lone ranger here shooting. We helped drive up off Apache. What's that? You, you were the Indian companion of the lone ranger? Uh, me, Tonto. Well, that's a statement that's easy to make, but hard to prove. We'll see. Lieutenant, is this writing authentic? Uh, oh, yes, sir. I'll vouch for it. That's Corporal Bradley's handwriting. You're positive? I'd stake my rank on it, Captain. Good. In that case, we have the information we need concerning the disposition and size of the Apache war party. Have the buglers sound assembly. Give the men orders to be ready with full equipment in two hours. Yes, sir. Thanks for your aid, Tonto. The Army won't forget it. <laughs> Killed him. Kincaid and Crummins, I killed him. Don't say that, Bradley. You couldn't possibly tell that the Apache would be waiting at Lone Wolf Pass. If we'd gone the other way, they'd be alive. I was bullheaded. I wouldn't listen to them. You used your best judgment. Don't blame yourself for a mistake that might happen to anyone. Two of them. Dead and... What's that? Horses, Apaches. Lie back, Bradley. Lie back. It's only Tonto. Lie back. That's it. It's Tonto coming back. Yes, he made good time. Hi, Kimosabe. Hi. Hi, Tonto. Ah, me, me deliver packet. 
cavalry call assembly. Get ready to go out for Apache war party. Assembly? Oh, I know how that goes. Da 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 No, don't do that stuff. Oh, gosh. Did I do anything? What is it, Bradley? I, I just can't stand here in army bugle calls after what I did. Well, you can't feel that way, Bradley. When you get back to your regiment, you'll be... I'm not going back. I'm never going back. I'm through with the army. What's that? You heard me. I'm through with the army. Oh, you know... That's all right, Tonto. Never mind. Go over on the far side of the fire. Gosh. You sound like he meant it, sure enough. Him almost well now. Why him say that? He keeps blaming himself, Tonto. He may be better physically, but mentally it's not so good. We can talk about that later. I want to hear more about the cavalry. Ah, you ask Tonto Tell. Did that packet contain information about the location of the main war party of the Apaches? Not right. Then Bradley succeeded in his mission. Ah. Captain at Army Post, tell me. Apache war party make camp near Tower Spring. Tower Spring? Ah. That's 30 miles west of Lone Wolf Pass. Cavalry ride out this morning, head for Spring. Ah, I see. Gosh, I hope they don't run into an ambush or anything. Those Apaches are as clever as coyotes. That's it exactly, Dan. Bradley. Yeah, mess me. You're strong enough to travel now. Your uh, troop has moved out. They're going to meet the Apaches at Tawa Spring. My troop? Well, you should join your comrades. Well? No. No, I, I can't. Oh, you quiet, not quiet, Tonto. All right, suit yourself, Bradley. Perhaps you need a little more rest. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. A little more rest. In that case, you can stay here. Then you and Bradley can tend to the camp. Well, well sure, but but aren't you staying? No, Tonto and I are riding out. But we'll be back. Here, Silver. Yes, Count. Steady, big fella. <coughs> Adios. Adios, Bradley. Adios. Adios. This way, Kimosabe. All right, Silver. Get him up, Scout. The, the heading west. Heading for Lone Wolf Pass. Wonder where they're going. I don't know, Mr. Bradley. But I'll bet it's Tawa Spring. Sabi, they're Indian camp now. Careful, Tonto. We're inside their sentry line. If they hear us now, we'll be caught in a trap. Ah, uh, we see them good from here. I got behind a clump of mesquite. Uh. Good. Quiet, Silver. Not a sound, big fella. Quiet, Scout, quiet. They're all prepared for war, Tonto. Some of them are already wearing war paint. Ah, uh, engines. Back, Tonto. Tonto, look. Scouting party returning to camp. They came from the southeast. Ah, uh, from Blue Creek. That's the direction the cavalry is coming from. Kimasabi, you watch. They make powwow. Use Indian sign. Yes. All the braves are clustered around them. We can read their gestures even if we can't hear their words. It looks as if... Tonto. Uh, Tonto, you savvy? Uh, me savvy. Scouting party find out about cavalry. That's it. They know the soldiers are coming. Now make plans for a surprise attack. Quick, on your horse. We've got to warn the soldiers before they're ambushed. Tonto, we've been discovered. Those sentries are behind us. Engines come up from camp. We're between two fires. Kimbasabi, what we do? curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. 
Aroused by the war hoop of a keen-eyed sentry, the Apache Braves gallop up the slope from their camp toward the Lone Ranger and Tonto. While behind them, the sentries are pouring lead down on the two men. Okay, Musabi, we not have chance. Too many Apache. If we stay here, we're lost. Mount Tonto, mount and ride. Steady, scout, steady. Now, Tonto, up the hill. Our only chance is to break through the lines of the sentries before the rest of them get up from the camp. Get him up, scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Him right straight at you. Master Silver, right at him. Hey. You knock him right from saddle. We're not clear yet. Ride, Tuttle, ride. Dan. Danny, it's horses. Maybe some Apache Indians. No, maybe. no I recognize them. It's Tuttle and the Lone Ranger. Kino, you're right. Oh, Silver, oh, 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 Easy, oh. easy, Silver. Uh, howdy. You, you and the engine look like you've been through oh, a regular... Golly, what happened? You and Tyler, your shirts are all torn. Those are bullet holes, Dan. Bullet holes? Are you hurt? Oh, no, Dan. Then that's where you did go, just like I figured you would. To Tawa Spring, the Apache camp. Yes, we watched the camp until the engine saw us. We had to fight our way out. Uh, we learned something, too. Apache know that cavalry come up Blue Creek Trail. Wait, I don't savvy... Apaches know? Yes, Bradley. They had a scouting party out. The Indians know that your outfit is heading for their camp. You know what that means, don't you? Why, I... It means that the Apaches will break camp and move out themselves. They'll have the advantage of surprise, and they may be able to catch the soldiers unprepared. Unprepared? Why, it'll be a massacre. Unless your captain is warned ahead of time. Well, why don't you ride and warn him? Why don't you or the engine... No, Bradley. Todd and I'll have to go back and pick up the trail of the Apaches so that we'll know where they are. Um, that's right. Apache pick place for ambush. They hide in hills, maybe. We follow. Give signal at right time so cavalry know. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Besides, I wear this mask, Bradley. Would your captain trust a masked man? Oh, but you're the lone ranger. There might not be time to prove that. Yeah, I reckon so. There's still some time before one of us has to go. We're about halfway between the Indians and the cavalry now. One of us could leave after dark and still reach the soldiers before dawn. That's when Indians make attack at dawn. What, uh, what about you, Bradley? Me? Yes. Well, I... I mean, more shooting. I couldn't face that run. After what happened to Kincaid and Crummins, I'd run, I tell you. Easy, easy, Dan. Oh, uh, by the way, Bradley, suppose this evening we ride out to the spot where we buried Kincaid and Crummins. Huh? Now, we went back and buried them, but uh, you haven't been there. You've been a little weak. Perhaps one of us could say a few words. You owe it to them. Don't you think so? Kincaid and Crummins. Yeah. Yeah, mass men, I reckon I do. This evening. We'll be there in a few minutes, Dan. You know what I want you to do? You've got it straight? I'll try. Bradley's a good man and a good soldier. He's got to get over this weakness. I'll do my best. Gosh, the stars look bigger than silver dollars, don't they? Yes, they'll be looking down on us. Remember, it's when I finish talking and raise my hand. Understand? Yes, sir. Now, let's get up with Tonto and Bradley. Yep, Victor, come on. men and the boy trotted across the plains. Their horses' hoofs thudded softly on the ground, their fetlocks brushing the prairie grass and shook the evening dew from the low branches of the trees. The moon rose in its light. The mist that covered the hollows was as soft and white as cotton. The night birds sang and the crickets made the air throb with their low monotone. At length, they reached the spot where Kincaid and Crummins were buried. The Lone Ranger and Bradley took off their hats. With Tonto, they stood close to the graves. The Ranger dropped his head for a moment and then spoke softly. As he spoke, young Dan moved back from them until he was some distance away, until he could just barely hear the Lone Ranger's low tones and just see his bowed head in the moonlight. For these two resting in the earth are men who died honorably and bravely. Men who fought under the flag of our country gave their lives so that our country might live forever. May they rest in peace. 
May they rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Have you anything to say, Bradley? No, I... They were good soldiers, that's all. They fought like good soldiers and ended up like good soldiers. I wish I could be like them. That's all? Yeah. Except that... I wish they could have a real soldier service. Salute with rifles and then taps. The sound of battle is their salute, Bradley. And as for taps... Shadows fall over all O'er the plains Thanks. Your horse is saddled and ready. Dan can go with you. Corporal Bradley, will you ride and warn your regiment? Mister, the sooner the better. Move the lamp a little closer, Lieutenant Travis. According to this map, we should reach the Apache camp in another day's ride. Yes, Captain. I'd suggest we start at dawn, travel slowly, and stop some distance away until after sundown. And then we can make a moonlight march and surprise them around midnight. Yes, that's the best arrangement. In that way, we can subdue them. Not too many casualties. Too bad Corporal Bradley isn't with us. Yes, sir. He and Kincaid and Crummins were the best scouts we had. This country's mighty dangerous. Cut up, full of ravines and arroyas. Good Indian scouts would be helpful. We're safe as long as the Indians don't know we're coming after them. They won't until it's too late. Well, it's not so many hours till dawn, Lieutenant. I suggest we turn in ourselves. We'll need all the rest we can get. Right, Captain. <laughs> Lieutenant, I hear horses. They're coming at the gallop. Put out that lantern. Go outside the tent. Corporal Bradley reporting. Corporal Bradley. Come on, Lieutenant. Tell me, I gotta see the old man at once. I don't care if he's asleep or awake. I gotta see the Catch old man. As you were. Uh, yes, Corporal. The uh, old man is here. Oh, oh, sir, I, I beg the captain's pardon. I, I didn't see the captain. Never mind, Corporal. I suppose every captain is called the old man. I used that term myself when it was a shaved tail. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, you and your companion look as if you've been riding hard. Uh, what's it about, Corporal? Sir, the Apache know the troop is heading for Tawa Spring. What's that? They've broken camp and they're heading this way. They plan an ambush. Are you sure of this? Did you see the Apaches yourself? No, sir, Captain. I, Well, I was recovering from a slight wound, but... Oh, gosh, sir, you've got to believe us. It was the Lone Ranger and Tonto who spotted what the Indians were up to. The Lone Ranger? Who oh, I see. Go on, Corporal. Well, that's about all, sir. Except that the Lone Ranger and his engine pod are trailing the Apaches now. The masked man said for you to ride out tomorrow, same as usual. To have the men look as if they don't expect anything, but to be ready for trouble every instant. And the masked man said we'd get a signal at the right time. Begging the captain's pardon, uh, sir. Uh, oh, gosh, Captain. Lone Ranger didn't mean any disrespect, and he didn't want to make out that he was telling you what to do. Only, well, the Lone Ranger knows the West better than anybody else. It's all right, son, I understand. Lieutenant Travis. Yes, sir. We read it on. We'll do as the Lone Ranger suggests. Look at ease. But be prepared for anything and watch for a signal. Already, Captain. Uh, Corporal Bradley requests permission to ride with the advance patrol. Permission granted. Let's get underway. Yes, sir. Dust 
Round Edge of Hill. Yes, that's the cavalry. They'll be in the valley very soon now. Apache see them too. They get ready. We're behind them, Toto. When we fire into the air, they'll be confused. The cavalry will take advantage of that confusion. Me savvy. Get ready. Back to the horses. In the saddle. Uh -huh. Steady. <coughs> now fire. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. At the first crack of the six guns, the Apaches whirled in confusion. The clear call of the bugle whipped the soldiers' horses into a gallop. Spreading out into skirmish lines, they charged home with the bewildered Indians, while the Lone Ranger and Tonto battled like giants as Silver and Scout raced down the slope. The Apaches had the advantage of numbers, but the charge of the cavalry could not be stopped. Soon the Apaches gave up the struggle, throwing down their guns and sliding off their ponies. It worked, Captain. It worked. We got him. We got every last one. It's a fine victory, Lieutenant. For your success to the Lone Ranger. Did you see the way he fought? Yes, sir. Where is he? I want to meet him. I want to thank him. Uh, he's gone. Begging the Captain's pardon. There they are. The three of them. The youngster, the Indian... And the Lone Ranger. Yeah, right away. Yes, sir. The Lone Ranger doesn't ever wait for thanks. But when the trumpet blows for action and the fighting starts, you can bet your boots the Lone Ranger's right in the thick of it. Fighting for the same flag as all of us. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>